everyone this is poojita from talent battle welcome to our new video in this video we are going to see the previous year infosys puzzle solving questions as we know infosys is planning to hire 2023 batch students through on campus placements this video will help you to prepare for that you can also join our live training where we will be covering all the previous year questions of reasoning ability mathematical ability verbal ability pseudo code and puzzle solving which will help you in your exam preparation you can also join our social media platforms like telegram group whatsapp group and instagram page we constantly give updates on placement preparations and off campus placements links for all of those are in the description box Before we start do not forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications about our videos we will start so it's a puzzle question question where the numbers and alphabet is also there whenever alphabets are there always consider the place value of the alphabet that means for suppose a comes in the first position so the place value for a is 1 b comes in second position so b is 2 j comes in tenth position so j is 10 p comes in 16 so p is 16 like this you should consider all forbids and their place values so solving problems will become easier now instead of r and k i am going to consider them as 18 and 11 11 comes uh, 11 is for k and 18 is for r now 18 is 1728 this particular one is coded as r which is nothing but 18 and 2603 is coded as 11 now for suppose if i just see first and last all for uh, last number here it is 18 but here it is not the same so there is some logic between them we need to identify first what was the logic so there are four numbers here and that four numbers should honor somehow you you 18 so let's try to add them and check instead of numbers they might even consider it as digit means instead of 1728 they might even consider it as 172 and 8 as it digits they could have added it so 1 plus 7 is 8 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 8 18 yes satisfied so the sum of the digits here is 18 so this got satisfied so let us check this one if this is also going to get satisfied then that's our answer So two plus six plus zero plus three. Two plus six is eight. Eight plus zero is eight again. Eight plus three is eleven. Yes, correct. Now what should be the answer for the number they gave? Two eight two one. So we need to add all of these digits. Two plus eight plus two plus one. Two plus eight is ten. Ten plus two is twelve. Twelve plus one thirteen. So the alphabet that stands for the number thirteen is M. M comes in the thirteenth position. so the answer for this question is option b m so you can say this is an easy puzzle itself because if you add the digits here you get the answer so addition of the digits is equal to the place value of the particular alphabet so option b is the correct answer option b so let's see few more puzzles now so 5 89 6 and 646 first we should identify what is the logic between this three numbers if we get the logic between this three numbers then we can apply it for the next one so 5 89 6 and 646 let us check if i add both of this will it give me 646 no for sure not 5 89 plus 6 is just 595 so that is not going to give me is the difference between this two is 6 no that is also not going to happen the difference between this two is 57 however not related with 6 so what else can be done maybe they divided the numbers this two numbers are huge and this 6 is a small number so one thing they will consider it as 589 or like the previous question they could have considered it as digits also that is also a possibility let us check 5 plus 8 plus 9 they could have considered and here also 6 plus 4 plus 6 might be so 5 plus 8 plus 9 is almost 22 here and what about this 6 plus 4 plus 6 is 16 so this can be 22 and 16 22 and 16 difference is 6 yes satisfied the difference between the digit sums of them is 
so maybe this might be our logic so we'll apply it and check over if we have the option then that's the answer so 329 question mark i'm 157 so 329 we should consider it as 3 plus 2 plus 9 which is 14 and similarly here also 1 plus 5 plus 7 which is 13 so the difference between this two is one option c option c is the correct answer Sometimes instead of number, the digits of the numbers will be considered. This is also one good logic that has been, uh, came for so many puzzles. They consider the digits of the numbers. So option C is the correct answer. The digit sums difference is the middle number. We'll see one more puzzle now. 231 question mark and 423. Similarly, 587. 335 and 654. So now first let me check out the differences directly. 587 and 654, the difference is 67. So that is not going to happen. So we will check. This is also a puzzle which is going to follow almost the similar kind of pattern like the previous one. But here what happened was they just added it. They just added all the digits of this. All the digits. Means 5 plus 8 plus 7 is 20. And here it is 15. So sum of 20 plus 15 is 35. Similar manner, this also. 2 plus 3 plus 6. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. And here, 4 plus 2 plus 3. 4 plus 2 plus 3 is how much? 9. So 9 plus 6. What is the sum of both of them? 15. Option A. Previous one, it is subtraction. And here it is addition. Whenever you did not get directly, always go ahead with the digits of the number. That's the logic here. So we have three terms here. So 63, 47, 51. And then 2, 6 and 4. I will concentrate upon this because this is easy for me to identify the answer. These numbers are quite simple. But these numbers are a little heavy for us to do. So I will try to get the answer by using these two numbers. So maybe they use the first number and the second number to get the third number. So this two might be used to get the third number or first and third might be used to get the second number or second and third might be used to get the first number. So for suppose second and third if I take, the difference between four and six is two if I consider, but the difference between 47 and 51 is not 63. So second and third might not be the case. They might have used first and second number to get the third number, or they could have used first and third number to get the second number. First and third number to get the second number. So let us try to check various options that we had. So 2, 6 and 4 is pretty easy for us to identify the logic for. So we'll try to check. So first and second number. So 2 and 6. How do we get from 2 and 6, 4? The difference between 2 and 6 is 4. But here the difference between them is not 51. So 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So they might add the first number and the second number and then divide it by 2. If I consider that's my logic, it should even satisfy for the previous one. If I add 63 and 47, which is 110, 110 divided by 2 is not 51, it is 55. So this is not the logic. So first and second, getting out third might be not a possibility. So let us try to use First and third, and we will try to check. We will try this manner too. So first and third, if I check this two. So the differences between them or the addition of them is six, but addition should not be taken. That is not going to happen. The differences between them, we will check for. Maybe we'll get out the logic. The difference between them, four and two. Four and two is two. Two into 3 is 6. 2 into 3 is 6. Maybe the difference into 3 is going to happen. So let's try to apply here. How much is the difference? Uh, the difference here, 63 and 51. The difference is 12. 12 into 3 is not 47. So that is wrong. So anyhow, even if I check in the straight manner, I did not get the answer. Okay, so the logic can be even in the vertical manner also. So we will check in the vertical manner. Okay, so 63, 2 and 57 we will focus. 
So 63 and 157. So how much is the differences between them? Two is a small number. That's why I'm considering. 63 and 57, the difference is six. Six divided by three is two. That's a possibility. So similar manner. 47, 29, six is the number here. So the difference between this two, I will check. 47 to 29, the difference is 18. 18 divided by three, six. Yes, correct. So 51, question mark, and four. So the difference between them, if I divide it by two, it should, uh, if I divide it by three, sorry, if I divide it by three, it should be equal to four. So 51 minus some number should be equal to 12, right? 51 minus some number should be equal to 12. So the value of X will be equal to 51 minus 12, which is 39. So what's the answer? Option C. So, neatly, I have showed you the horizontal way of approach here because most of them will even check like this. It doesn't work out. That's why we went out with vertical B. Okay. So, what's the answer? Option C, 39 is the correct answer for this one. So, here again, we have alphabets. Whenever we see alphabets, let us place their numbers. So, G is 7, B is 2, A is 5 and X is 24. And V is 22, H is 8, C is 3, and E is 5. This one, vertical will give us the answers, mostly. Because if we observe, uh, the numbers are so close here. 7, 2, and 5 are so close. And here also, if we observe, 8, 3, and 5 are so close. So I will try to check this one. 7 and 5 difference is 2. 8 and 5 difference is 3. So, this two are satisfying now. So, the difference between this two numbers should be 22. That means here it is supposed to be 2. Tw uh, 24 and 2 difference is 22. So, what is the alphabet B? Option B is the correct answer. Alphabet is B and option is also B. So, what's the answer? Option B. Okay. So, whenever alphabet comes, instead of uh, going out with the alphabets and checking out, give the alphabets and their numberings. It will be very easy for you to solve for. So, option B is the correct answer. Now, we have one more here. So, 12, 3, and 2, 9, 6, 5, 4, 7, uh, 6, 5, 3, 7, 63, 7. Okay, maybe it is horizontal or vertical. First, we will check with one example. Okay, 12 and 3, that should give us 9. 12, 3 and 2. Maybe they use three numbers to get the last number. That's a possibility. So, we'll try, we'll first try in different manners. Now, first if I take the differences between these numbers, 12, 3 and 2, the difference is 6. So, 6 is not sure. But yes, 6 plus 3 is 9. So, if you observe, 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. This is a possibility. The first number, when divided by the third number, and the second number is added. That's a possibility because I can see it out here. 2 divided by 2 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. So if I check with the next ones, let us check. 6 divided by 3. The third number is 3. Is 2. 2 plus 5. 7. Perfectly satisfied. 63 divided by 9 is 7. 7 plus 7, 14. Perfectly satisfied. So, we got our logic. So, what's the answer? 72 divided by 8 plus 16. So, this first number divided by the third number plus the second number is going to give us the answer. So, the answer will be 9 plus 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. Option C is the correct answer. 25. 25. So we have one more, 42, 35, and 6. And 91, 35, and 30. So let us first try to check one page. 42, 35, and 6. So the difference between 42 and 35 is not 6. It is 7. If I think it is difference plus 1, the next one will not satisfy. 95 and 35 difference plus 1 will not be 13. So that won't be the logic. Difference plus one will not become the logic. We need to check for any other. Uh, the difference between this two is how much? 42 minus six is 36. So that is also not. 
So if you observe 42 and 6, 42 divided by 6, maybe like the previous one, if I do, 42 divided by 6 is 7. 7 into 5 can be 35. 7 into 5 can be 35 because if even if I go with the differences between first, second, or second, and third, and third, and fourth, it will not satisfy with this set. So we'll check it out in the same manner. Why I got this kind of logic is because 42 is divisible by 6 here. Similar manner, 91 is also divisible by 13 here. Okay, that's why. So 91, if I divide it by 13, it is again 7. 7 into 5, 35. So the difference into 5 will be the logic. Sorry, uh, the division means the quotient into 5 will be the logic. So here it is first number divided by third number into 5 will give us the second number, the middle number. Okay, so even if you observe 120 is divisible by 15, every first number is divisible by the third number here. 120 divided by 15 into 5 should be the second number. 120 divided by 15 is 8. So 8 is the quotient here. Into 5. 8 into 5 is nothing but 40. So what's the answer? Option B. That if you divide the first one with the third one and multiply with 5, you get the second one. Option B is the correct answer. So hope you understood. These are some of the puzzles that appeared in Infosys for the previous years. Thank you for watching the video. Please do subscribe our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.